All right. So, welcome to Fairy Tale Flip. Today we're doing something different. I'm going to be reading Rumpelstiltskin, which is a grim fairy tale to to my oldest two children. So, you want to introduce yourself? My name is Declan. My name is Evelyn. And Evelyn, what do you have on your face? Well, this is this is makeup. It looks like markers, but it's just makeup. It looks like markers, but it's just makeup? Yeah. Were you trying to be pretty, or were you trying to be something special? I was trying to be a tiger. A tiger. Okay. All right, so um, in Fairy Tale Flip, every month we give you three options from which to choose what story you want Donna and I, um, Donna from Doorways to Learning, and I am from... Uh, fabric of folklore and we come together once a month to do a deep dive on a fairy tale and one of the options this month is Rumpelstiltskin and have we read this one before yes and lots what, of times. what do we like do you like it yeah okay all right let's read it Once there was a poor miller who had a beautiful daughter when he met the king for the first time the miller wanted to make a good impression he said, I have a daughter who knows how to spin straw into gold. The king replied, then bring her to me, for I want to see this myself. When the miller's daughter arrived at the castle, the king took her to a room where there was a spinning wheel and some straw. Spin this straw into gold, he commanded. If you value your life, you must do it before dawn. Then he locked the door and left the girl alone. What do you think about that? I don't know. Of course, the miller's daughter had no idea how to turn straw into gold, so she sat down and began to cry. Suddenly, a little man entered the room. And why do you weep? he asked. I weep because I must spin this straw into gold, cried the girl, but I don't know how. Then the little man, then the little man asked, What will you give me if I do it for you? The girl took the necklace from around her neck and gave it to the dwarf, who immediately sat down at the spinning wheel. Whirr, whirr, whirr. The spinning wheel went round and round. By morning, the strange little man had finished. Where the straw had been, there was now a huge pile of spun gold. That's amazing. Can you do that? No. When the king returned, he was amazed and delighted. But the sight of all that gold only made him greedy for more. So he led the miller's daughter to another room, which was large, larger than the first, and was filled with even more straw. Spin this straw into gold, he commanded. If you value your life, you must be finished by morning. When the king had left, the girl again began to weep. Before long, the strange little man appeared. What will you give me if I spin the straw into gold, he asked. And the girl replied, this ring is all I have left. But it shall be yours if you help me. The dwarf put the ring in his pocket and again sat down at the spinning wheel. Whirr, whirr, whirr. The wheel went round and round, and by morning all the straw had been turned to gold. When the king saw the second room was now filled with gold, he became even more greedy than before. He took the miller's daughter to the largest room in the palace. Straw was piled from floor right up to the ceiling. Spin all this straw into gold, commanded the king. If you are finished by morning, then you shall be my queen. And as he locked the girl inside the room, the king thought, She may only be a poor miller's daughter, but what a rich wife she will make. As on the other nights, the little man appeared and asked, What will you give me if I help you? But this time the, the girl said that she had nothing left to give. Then you must promise me this, said the dwarf. If you become queen, you must give me your firstborn child. Now the girl did not know if she would ever be queen. Who knows what will come to pass, she thought. And so she agreed. At once the little man sat down and began to spin. In the morning the king returned, and when he saw that the straw had been turned to gold, he was so pleased that he married the girl and made her his queen. Soon she forgot all about her promise to the strange little man. A year later, the queen's first child was born, and suddenly the little man appeared it's time for you to keep your promise, he said. The queen was very frightened. She offered him all the riches in the kingdom, if only she could keep her baby. But the little man replied, 
A child is the greatest treasure in the world, and you have promised yours to me. Then the queen began to beg and plead. She cried and she wept. Finally, the little man said, If you can guess my name before three days pass, then you can keep your child. That night, the queen thought of all the names she had ever heard, and her messengers went through the kingdom searching for others. In the morning, the little man appeared and asked, What is my name? First, the queen guessed ordinary names. Then she guessed more unusual ones, like Casper, Melancholy, Melchior and Bel Bethelzar, and at each one, the little man jumped gleefully up and down, crying, No, no, that's not my name. On the second day, the queen began guessing strange and curious names like cow, cow ribs and spindle shanks and spider legs, but the little man just jumped up and down, crying, No, no, you'll never guess it. When the third day arrived, a messenger came to the queen. As I was wandering through the woods, he said, I came across a little house. A fire was burning near a house, near the house, and a strange little man was dancing and hopping around the fire. And as he danced, he sang three words. Today I bake, tomorrow I clean. I'm going to take the child from the queen. A fiddle, a battle, a needle, a pin. My name is Secret. It's Rumpelstiltskin. When the queen heard this, she was overjoyed. At last, she knew his name. Soon the little man appeared again. Your three days are up, he said. Now what? is my name the queen asked is it tom no no cried the dwarf jumping up and down in delight that's not my name is it dick asked the queen the little man danced about and shouted no no you're wrong again are you trying to give her the answer <laughs> then the queen asked is your name rumpelstiltskin <laughs> And at that, the little man began to scream at the top of his lung. <laughs> a witch told you that! A witch told you that! He grew, so, he grew so angry that he stomped around the room in a rage. He stamped his right foot down so hard and it sank so deep that he could not pull it out. And then he grabbed his left <gasps> leg with both hands. He pulled so hard that he split himself into two. <laughs> oh. Oh. And that was the end of Rumpelstiltskin. And so that was uh, Rumpelstiltskin. That was a grim fairy tale. And what did y'all think about it? It was great. Yeah, you like that one? Mm -hmm. I love that one. Do you like Rumpelstiltskin or do you like the, the Miller's Daughter? What do you like? I, I like him when he, he's split into two. You like him when he's split into two. And don't forget, if this is the one that you want us to do a deep dive on this month, vote down... Um, We'll have links down below where you can send in your vote. So thanks so much for watching on Fairy Tale Flip Storytime.